chicken a la king? <laughs> what? No. Yeah, that's king crab. <laughs> I hate when they do that. Caesar salad. <laughs> Et du brute? Nope. Welcome, foolish mortals, to the haunted mansion. Please look alive. Our residents are assembling for a swinging wake. Mind your step as you enter into the grand hall. There's a steady stream of happy haunts eager to join in the celebration. An eerie organist plays a frightening waltz as our ghostly residents dance throughout the evening. In the center of the grand hall sits a large table surrounded by several spirits celebrating a special death day party. At one end of the table sits our hostess, who attempts to blow out candles on a cake. It's a difficult task for an apparition who repeatedly fades in and out of sight. On the other end of the table sits a stately figure enjoying the evening's festivities. You may recognize him as Julius Caesar, but here in the Haunted Mansion, He's known as Great Caesar's Ghost. The Roman general is one of our most infamous residents. A string of military victories helped Caesar rise to power around 50 BC. After defying the orders of the Roman Senate, he marched his troops into the city, starting a civil war. In the play, Julius Caesar, the English playwright William Shakespeare adapts the tragedy surrounding Caesar's death. During a celebration, a soothsayer in the crowd warns the Roman emperor to beware the Ides of March. Unbeknownst to Caesar, several conspirators look to convince the Roman senator Marcus Junius Brutus to join a plot that would see Julius Caesar dead. The Roman general Mark Anthony pleads with Julius Caesar to take the crown and rule the empire. Caesar reluctantly refuses it while the Roman population applauds him for denying the crown. Now, on his way to the Senate, the conspirators meet Julius Caesar. Each of the men stabbed Caesar with a blade. In fact, he was stabbed 23 times. Brutus is the last. Caesar falls to his death, but not before looking into the eyes of Brutus and uttering the line, Now, there are few residents of the haunted mansion that can claim to be the victims of Regicide. Lend Roman countrymen, lend me your ears! Mark Anthony responds to the death of his friend in a speech to his fellow Romans. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often turned with their bones, so let it be with Caesar. Great Caesar's ghost first appeared in a vision to Brutus, where he taunts the senator. Caesar must have enjoyed his time as a ghost since he'd eventually pack up and join us here. Now you may be asking yourself, what about his loyal friend and companion Mark Anthony? Why, he comes back for the sequel. Shakespeare's play Anthony and Cleopatra offers us a chance to learn more about Mark Anthony's affair with the Egyptian monarch. It's a delightful story that ends in tragedy. Believing his beloved was dead, Mark Anthony took his own life, meeting his demise at the end of a sword. Cleopatra's death was far more creative. When she heard about Mark Anthony taking his own life, the Queen of the Nile let a venomous snake bite her. It's especially poetic when you consider that the asp is a symbol of royalty in the Egyptian culture. Hmm... I wonder how the Haunted Mansion compares to the Sphinx. Or the Egyptian Pyramids.
In true Shakespearean fashion, the star-crossed lovers wind up taking their own lives before joining us at the Haunted Mansion. What's that? You weren't aware that Cleopatra and Mark Anthony were amongst our residents? Next time you visit the Haunted Mansion, take a look at the chandelier above Great Caesar's ghost and you might just catch a glimpse of two spirits drinking spirits. Eventually, Julius Caesar would become almost as popular in death as he was in life. Great Caesar's ghost, a talking crusty doll. That doll is evil, I tell ya. Evil! Evil! In the 1940s and 50s, the term Great Caesar's ghost would become synonymous with terms like good golly or <clears throat> great googly moogly. What's that? Never you mind, Leota. Up in the sky! Look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! The term Great Caesar's Ghost was made popular by the Superman radio series. As I understand, Caesar even spent some time haunting Metropolis before moving into the mansion. Great Caesar's ghost appeared on one of the earliest versions of the Haunted Mansion's guest list, appearing alongside names like the Headless Horseman, Other guests might have included Frankenstein's monster and the lonesome ghosts. Look! Ghosts! Ghosts! You're still likely to encounter plenty of prestigious poltergeists wandering throughout our ghostly estate. Next time you visit, be sure to keep an eye out for a certain Roman general sitting at the head of the table. Now, let us know what you think. Have you ever noticed Great Caesar's ghost in the Haunted Mansion? Are there any other residents you'd like to learn more about? Let us know in the comments section below. And why not take a moment to watch one of these other films highlighting the residents of the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!